Coming up on Red Carpet Radio, local music news, sport and weather, then your better music internet radio station continues. Hello, uh, my name is Stephen Chung. I'm from the old Dragon Inn restaurant in Tang Center in Tamworth. Today, I would like to introduce you to my new Dragon Inn Express takeaway in Maysville Drive, Tamworth, Leafield. So, next time, if you're hungry in Tamworth, and call me at the Dragon Express on 01827 65880. Dragon Express is the fastest delivery in town. Problems with your carpet? Then welcome to my carpet surgery. Whether you're in need of a simple stretch and tuck, specific repairs, materials fitted or supplied, then allow the carpet doctor to give you a checkup. Operating on your floor has never been easier. www.carpetdoctor.co.uk. One click and it's painless. Hi, this is Sam. Hi, this is Kathy. And we would both like to welcome you to our new town centre barbershop. Just two doors down from Bullet Bar in Tamworth. Here at Industry Barbers, we specialise in all men's styles and trims. So next time you're in town and need some serious hair care therapy, just drop in for a coffee and a chat with Sam and Cathy. Or call the salon between 9 and 5. Click onto our website, industrybarbers.co.uk. Here at Tamworth Tyres, we offer great competitive prices on tyres, exhausts, batteries and alloy wheels. If you'd like to know more about us, call us on Tamworth 01827 262 522. Red Carpet Radio. Red Carpet Radio.com. Your better music internet station. Red Carpet Radio Music News and Sports. I'm Roy Sandbrook. Music news first, the Levellers Beautiful Days Festival has been hailed a great success. Here's Mark Chadwick. I'm proud for everybody, really. I'm mostly proud for the people that actually attend the event. Jeremy Cunningham of The Levellers. We try and make the site a bit bigger every year, but without putting more people on it. I'd like to talk to you, uh, Jez, from The Levellers, about credit crunch gigs. Uh, How do you think the credit crunch has affected the music industry? Well, as someone said to me, it's something like 30% less tickets being sold. Luckily, it hasn't really affected us that much, because, you know, we're lucky enough to have a hardcore following kind of thing. And we actually started in a recession anyway, and had our kind of biggest hits in recession so you know as a band it wasn't really a big deal for us but you know our accountant was fretting for a little while and <laughs> our agent for a little while and i know a lot of other bands have had trouble but um yeah we'd so uh, fingers crossed we're doing all right here's simon friend of the levelers seven beautiful years yeah yeah that's great The Levellers invites guests, friends and artists to their weekend party in Beautiful Days Escar Park in Devon, including Matthew Wright from TV's Channel 5's The Right Stuff. Uh, Nice weather, nice people, lovely vibe, wicked festival, yeah. In local news, Tamworth Castle Pleasure Grounds are holding open mic sessions in the bandstand while the sun is shining over the summer period. Further details, click tamwithcastle.co.uk. In local sport, down at the Lamb Football Club, here's what the fans are still saying. Red Carpet Radio Weather with carpetdoctor.co.uk. Yeah, let's have a look what's going on with Tamworth weather around the region, around the dot UK. As always, there'll be more weather up north than there is down south, and not so much weather in the Midlands. For a more detailed weather outlook, just click the homepage redcarpetradio.com and you're bang up to date with the British weather. Red Carpet Radio weather with carpetdoctor.co.uk Redcarpetradio.com your better music internet radio station. Roy, Roy, Roy Sandbrook. Roy Sandbrook. Roy Sandbrook. Red Carpet Radio bringing you closer to the artists making the music. Rick Mayle, standing on the red carpet, the man of a million voices, the voice of a million characters. 
Rick Mayo, how you doing? Well, I'm blushing, quite frankly. What a lovely introduction. Now, what can I do for you? Well, uh, I don't really want to talk about the 80s classic cult comedy hit TV series, The Young Ones. No. Rick, I also don't want to talk about The Dangerous Brothers. I don't want to talk about your bottom. Oh. <laughs> Tor. Phew. I don't want to talk about Lord Flashheart in Blackadder. I don't want to talk about Ben Elton, Rowan Atkinson, Alexis Sale, Kevin Turvey, Drop Dead Fred, The Comic Strip Presents, French and Sorders, Alan Vestard, King Arthur's Disasters I'd like to talk a lot about with you very soon. OK. I don't want to talk about the Jack and Ori with Rick Mayo until we've chatted more about Noble England. Good. A timeless song. When we first heard it, we thought, wow. Well, I'm honoured. How very nice. A rousing call to the masses with a show of true Brit grit to support the England squad. A long time ago, before time began, Britannia started to engorge herself with earth. And then she became England. She grew into what England is. The goddess Britannia is the goddess of the country. And Britannia, as you know, carries a trident. This is England's protectress. She carries the trident, and that trident has three prongs. We're talking about three long prongs on <laughs> Britannia's trident, because she is our mother. She is our earth mother. Those three prongs represent the three greatest contributions that England as a nation has made to global culture. The first, these th three prongs that all represent the three contributions, greatest contributions that England has made. The first being football, the invention of football itself. The second, William Shakespeare, the plays of William Shakespeare. The third, Rick Mayle. <laughs> Those Great. are the three greatest contributions of glo to global culture. I thought, OK, I need to, for my country, for my Britannia, I need to do something with those three concepts. I know what I'll do. I'll enmesh them in an anthem for her football team, England. Wow. So that's what I've done. And you're very passionate about this as well, Rick. I mean, you can hear it in the song. Thank you. Absolutely. That's what I tried to bring across, of Shaky Bill's words. Yeah. I mean, the first time we played it on Red Carpet Radio and the first bit of airplay... I've got to admit, I had a bit of a shudder down my back of my spine. But well, you're a true patriot, obviously. Anyone and who feels that that spinal tingle, that, yeah, uh, yeah. just that just that feeling of goodness. It's just your blood engorging. And, and when, that's not a man. That's any man, any woman, any child, any pensioner. Anyone who loves their country loves their football team. My Granny Mail in 1966, not what you call a football fan, but Granny Mail, who was born the century before last. I'm talking about my granny. Mm. I was, this was an event that happened last century, and there's a lady born the century before last. That, at this very moment, that is three centuries put together in <laughs> one sentence. Um, she was thrilled to bits about England winning, she, and she says to me, oh, Richard, I feel so naughty watching football on the television, of all things. <laughs> how quaint. <laughs> yeah, that's how long ago it was. Um, now, that's what I mean by not what you call a normal football fan, but I'm talking about someone who loves their country. And also, at the moment, our country feels this poor, old, battered, miserable, bankrupt, mm. unhappy country. But this interview being given now, I'm giving this interview in the middle of April, and just the sun is beginning to shine. There's a little bit of hope and... Maybe it's something ancient and mythological, probably more biological, but even I'm beginning to say, I say, aren't the ladies looking a little bit alluring today? Quite. <laughs> Indeed, Spring is so. in the air. Yeah. And when high summer comes here, on Her Majesty's birthday, for all things, and I think by then enough people would have heard the song and will have amassed this vast army. Oh, they'd have gone, come on! I as hope soon so. as they, And yeah. some of them would be, come on! And some yeah, would be, okay. come, come along, come along! <laughs> come on, England! This is very similar to the Battle of Ashing Corps, fought in 1415, which is when a very small group of Englishmen went to a foreign soil to face the amassed armies. I mean, my, hugely outnumbered they were, the English army. There were just a few bowmen and a few swordsmen, and Henry V led them out there, and they were fighting the amassed ranks of the French, the Italians, the Germans, the Dutch, uh, the Burgundians, um, I think there were some of the Netherlands as well. They were just vastly outnumbered and they were heavily armoured, vastly weaponed enemy. And here we have just a few Englishmen standing alone on a foreign soil and they beat them. They beat them in 1415, Battle of Agincourt. 
Awesome. And this is the, the parallels between what was, what was happening then and what is happening this summer are just uncanny. You're looking good, man. How are you feeling? Excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I that's why I was deliberately ambivalent about where I'm going to be. I don't know where Edmondson is. I shall have to nose him out because I don't think he's bought a copy of my single yet. He well, may have he... stolen several, but I don't think he's bought one. I have to go find Eddie. Tell us about the um, the video shoot for Noble England. It was Dave who organised the thing, so he's the man who handpicked. I don't want to tell you too much, but he handpicked the lead actors who play the shall we say, footballers. I think you'd have to have a look at the video. Yeah. But we had a lot of fun with them in the in the dressing room. There's <laughs> also uh, some camera work that had to be cut out for various reasons. There are many rumours that could be told, but uh, being a discreet man who never tells on anyone else, I won't, so wouldn't say here that he's... OK, we won't say any more than that. We'll keep that a secret just That's between right. me and uh, <laughs> Debbie. OK. Red Carpet Radio, Rick, we have a station policy that all VIPs, such as your good self... No, I'm not a VIP. I am a pan-global phenomenon. Ah, we should recognise that Not a mere too. VIP. should remember that. But I shall, I shall forgive you for that. So you are standing on red carpet right now? Of course now. I'm standing on red there carpet. Where else would, would a man of my stature There's... stand? <laughs> There's been quite a few people standing on that red carpet, and today... Oh, we've get me another one, boy. Here we are at Brick Lane Studios in London. This is Brick Lane. Tell uh, us about the studio. This is the, this, this wow. very studio where we are right now. Now, listen, red carpet listeners. This is... The place where great things have happened. In this very studio, this is where Queen recorded Bohemian Rhapsody. This is where The Clash recorded London Calling. Fantastic. But most importantly, this is where Bad News recorded Bohemian Rhapsody. But even more importantly than that, this is where THE Rick Mayle recorded Noble England selflessly for his own nation. That's why you should just be aware of the fact that the sounds you are listening to, viewers, these were made in the Brick Lane Studios. Well, Rooney's on the attack here and he goes for goal himself! Oh, oh New England, you noble Englishman, come on, you Once more onto the pitch, dear friends. Once more to raise up these walls with our English cheer. When the whistle blast blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood. Disguise fair nature with hard fevered force. Then lend the eye a skillful aspect. Set the teeth, oh gentlemen in England, bend up every spirit to its full height. On, on, you noble English. On, on, you England, you noble Englishman. Come on, you England, you noble Englishman. On, on, you were made in England. Show us here the metal of your footwork. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start, the game's afoot. Follow your spirit upon this charge. Cry God a win for England and St. George!
on Motivation Records. It is the legendary world phenomenon that is Rick Mayo and Noble England. Watch the video now on YouTube. Click the official website. It's very English, very patriotic. www.nobleengland.com. Follow the collective on Facebook, and together we can help. Let's get Rick Mayo, Noble England, to number one. Come on, England, you English patriots. Red carpet radio. RedCarpetRadio.com Your better music internet station. Hey there, Roy here, and uh, yes, I'm still buzzing over the uh, the interview that I did recently in Brick Lane Studios in London. Good old Brick Lane Studios in London. Uh, it's a quite a historic building, as you heard in the interview with Rick Mayo and Noble England. And um, we had some time with Rick in the Quality Studios and uh, there were many things I would like to have said to Rick Mayo during the interview recently but never simply had time to say. For instance, Peter Shilton, you know, hands like shovels, former amazing England goalkeeper, well Peter actually lives here in Tamworth and uh, he gave his blessing to the England squad recently and uh, signed a 50-foot England shirt for charity. Brilliant. I also wanted to talk to Rick Mayle about Simon Callow, fellow thespian of Rick Mayle. Uh, Simon Callow going on tour as William Shakespeare. I also wanted to ask Rick if he'd ever been to Tim Tadgill and Camelot, and I wanted him to do a soliloquy for me. I also wanted to ask Rick, obviously, if there would ever be a Young Ones revival. Imagine that. A one-off special, a one-off spectacular uh, special edition of The Young Ones. If you could get Rick and Viv and Mike and Neil back together for Red Nose Night, you know, uh, a half an hour special of The Young Ones, that'd be good too. Never had time to ask that, but Debbie did ask him about a late-night TV cartoon that's on at the moment. I think it's on Nicktoons. It's well worth a look-see. One of the funniest cartoons I've seen this year. And um, it's uh, the stories of King Arthur's disasters. Tell us about one of the funniest cartoons on British TV today, King Arthur's Disasters, The Ice Dragon. Why do you want me to tell you about that? I saw it the other night on telly. It was on about 10 o'clock on Nicktoons. Yes. Strange time. And what Kids happened in that? bed and I thought it was very entertaining. <laughs> well, thought, that's oh, very kind of you. I thought I recognised that voice. Yes. But I'm not sure how many I did, but uh, I think it was on very late at night, probably because there was too many double entendres in there for mm. the tender-hearted to understand. But I don't really remember it being that vulgar. Is that what you're saying? No, no, it's, it was fine. I tell you, you've got to get a red carpet radio more often, people, because you get good plugs from them, yeah. Nevertheless, Noble England is not for the faint-hearted. Noble England is to support your nation now, when it's out there, against the world. So, well, thank you, Red Carpet Radio. This has been one of the interviews. <laughs> Redcarpetradio.com Your better music internet station. Put that record back on! Roy, 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 Roy. Sandbrook. Beats. Top 10 tunes in the See you there. Sandbrook. Wednesday night, see you there. 